In this video, I'll be talking about Windows 7 becoming end of life in January 2020. I'll also talk about what this means for your business, what exactly will happen in January 2020, and more importantly, what are your options? Microsoft have announced that on the 14th of January 2020, they're gonna stop supporting the Windows 7 operating system. I know that 2020 always feels like such a long time away, but of course it is less than 12 months. So what are we saying? What is gonna happen on the 14th of January? Well, seemingly to you, the computer user, nothing. You're still gonna be able to switch the computer on, open your email, open the internet and your applications. What Microsoft is saying is that they're no longer going to release updates to fix security and bugs on the Windows 7 operating system. You know, sometimes when you switch your computer on or switch it off at night, it will show you on the screen that it's installing updates. These updates are there to protect you, to fix bugs within the operating system and to safeguard you against viruses and malware. Without these updates, your computer is gonna become much more vulnerable to cyber attacks. Whether you're working in a personal capacity on a Windows 7 computer or in the workplace, we advise you not to use Windows 7 after the 14th of January. So the next question has to be, are you affected? Are you using Windows 7? Well, if you look at the two images on the screen, the top image is a Windows 10 computer. It's, it looks different, it has a different feel. The taskbar at the bottom is different. And when you click on the start command in the bottom left hand corner, you usually get all these different options. The bottom image is Windows 7 and it has just a different look and a different feel. So you should be able to tell instantly just by looking at your computer screen whether you're running Windows 10 or Windows 7. So if you are running Windows 7, what are your options? Well, the first and most obvious option is to buy a new computer. Uh, all the shops now sell computers that run Windows 10 and you could easily transfer your data from your old computer over to your new one. The second option, if your computer is reasonably new, maybe it's two, three, four years old, and it's got good hardware in it, then you could consider upgrading your Windows 7 operating system to Windows 10. You can buy Windows 10, and if you get an IT support company to help you upgrade, then you could keep your physical computer and just upgrade the software from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Now, another option, if you are a business, so many small businesses now are using Office 365 for email and for office licenses and for cloud storage. And if you are, then you could change your Office 365 subscription to Microsoft 365. Now, people get confused sometimes and think these are the same product, and they're not. Microsoft 365 is very similar to Office 365, but it includes a Windows 10 license. So if you upgrade your subscription to Microsoft 365, then your IT support company could then come and upgrade your current computers to Windows 10. So you could in effect keep all your computers, not invest in new ones, but just upgrade them all from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So I hope that video has been informative. If you've got any questions about the end of life for Windows 7, please feel free to browse our website and to get in touch. Thank you.